All right, hey guys, Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. What are we doing? Well, we're stealth camping, and I'll tell you more about that in a second, but I just want to get over to where we're going. So if you can see behind me, there's a dugout. So we're going to do a dugout, bug out, stealth camp. All right, let me get over there. There's a car right down there. I got to be quiet. All right, so I gotta get going. There's a car coming up there, and I can hear sirens and stuff. But look how close I am to these houses. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so the sun's going down, so we gotta get uh, set up and uh, just give you a quick pan around here. But let's get to walking. So there's a lot of sirens. I am really, really close to this town. Uh, this is their ballpark, but I don't know if this one's used that much. Um, there's dogs barking, sirens. I wasn't going to do a stealth camp tonight, but hey, <laughs> why not, right? So it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. So I've got dinner planned. I've got dessert planned but i don't have any breakfast because we're going to get up and we're going to bug out uh first thing because we got to get up to my one daughter's house and my other children are coming we're all going to have uh thanksgiving so <sighs> i don't know how this is going to go but how did this all come about all right let me get down here a little bit because i'm i'm standing right out in front of all these houses sorry about the camera work with the stroke of me walking, I this camera bounces and I'm trying to walk and talk and hold the camera still. I don't know. I don't, I don't, so far, I don't think anybody's seen me. Uh, I don't want to look too suspicious, but we're going to make our way down to this dugout here. All right. Let me, oh, there's a car. Hold on. Let me turn you off. All right, so... We made it over to the dugouts. Social distancing rules are in place. Six feet apart, no dogs allowed. All right, so we got a trash can right here. And then look at that. Right there's the houses. So there's two dugouts up here. There's one on the opposite side right over there. But that faces houses to my right. This one here, the back of it, is towards the town there is no houses there's only a, a high bank right over there so there is no houses over in that area so I think we're pretty good at setting up right here Looks like we're in and uh, we got our place set up so all the houses in the whole town is that way and to the right so we're down on the end of town um, let me bring it up on Google Earth and show you right where I'm at <laughs> okay here it is already we're right here in Pennsylvania little town Mount Carmel and there's a ball field right there and we're right in this dugout right there Okie doke. Right, so we got the sun going down behind me. That's going down pretty quick. It's it's almost four o'clock and it gets dark at about four thirty uh five uh now. So getting to the shortest time of the year. So we've got a lot to get set. Man, I'm hearing sirens all over the place. Oh boy. Um so I am going to just start unloading the backpack. I don't want to string up the hammock yet because when you do that, you're you're committed. And I'm just not feeling real safe about this spot yet. All right. Here we go. So 
So I'm going to work on getting this stuff out and I'll bring it back on in a second. But right before we go, so the reason that I'm at this spot is I went into the post office and uh, actually one of the postal workers uh, was there and he goes, hey, what is Random Adventures 2.0? And uh, I said, hey, it's a stealth camping site. And he said, really? And then he said, did you ever hear of Steve Wallace? And I said, Steve Wallace, yeah. I said, I watch him all the time. He said, yeah, me too. And I'm like, who hasn't heard of Steve Wallace? And then he says, what do you do on your channel? And I said, well, I said, I do a lot of the same stuff. And he said, really? Oh my gosh, let me look you up. And uh, so he looked me up and subscribed, and then he said, hey, my buddies, we always said, man, if we ever did a stealth camp, we would do one down at the ball field, down at the end of town. And I said, really? <laughs> and he said, yeah. And uh, I said, well, don't let the cat out of the bag, but uh, I was planning on doing that. So that's why we're here right now, all right? So let me get the stuff out of the bag. Uh, all the food stuff and then I'll work on setting up the uh, hammock once we get a little bit more settled in all right here we go all right so so I have my debut heated jacket is in here and we get we're packed up pretty good because it's supposed to get really cold tonight so I'm gonna find a place to put that for now I'm just gonna throw everything on the on the dugout here and uh, Start working on getting stuff laid out. All right, there's somebody walking right behind me. Right behind the dugout here. Uh, it's just, I hear some kids up in the woods over there, but there's somebody right behind me in the dugout here. So I don't have everything laid out yet, so... I haven't started deploying that hammock, but let's. Uh, so I think I'm gonna walk around and see what that is. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Good. I'm good. Sorry about that. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing today? Um, we're right now training with some search and rescue dogs, trying to help them get better at finding lost people. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What's your name? My name is Nathan. Nathan. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just up here taking pictures. I wanted to get some uh, filming of the uh, sunset there. Yeah, so. right here's like a beautiful soccer sunset. We're going down around the street. Yeah, yeah. So you got the dogs that they're working there? Um, yeah, right now they're getting ready to send the dog out to the fight. All right, good. Well, I'm going to go get filming some more, so uh, I'll talk to you later, Nathan. Yeah, nice right. to meet you. Same here. So will they be coming right by here? Um, Depends on what I do, but I think okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds cool. I've never seen that done before. All right. Well, I'm going to check things out. All right. All right. Have a nice afternoon. Hey, thanks. You too. Yeah, I'm going to check out this place. I just went around the corner, and I don't know if you could hear or not, but I just met a young man named Nathan. Uh, he's part of a dog rescue. So uh, I told him I was filming the sunset. So that's what we're going to do. But. They, they've got a dog and rescue, so we're going to hold off on setting anything up. All right. Oh, I think I see the car over there setting out the dog. All right, let me get that filmed. All right, so here comes the dog now. The dog's over. There's a dog coming. All right. So, like I said, I just told uh, Nathan what I was doing is just filming the sunset. And, uh, yeah, here comes the dog now. Oh, here, here comes some. I think, hey, Nathan, is that you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just filming the sunset here. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So is that one of the dogs over there? Yeah, that, that is one of the dogs. Okay. If you want to even get some film of the dogs to like show what we do, that'd be... Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that might be pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. So is there some coming from this way too, or is it just this one? That way, okay. Oh, wow. I'm missing my sunset, but I think these dogs are pretty much uh, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty not cool every day you get to see these dogs working. No, no, no. All right. Well, uh, let me get. I'm filming that sunset, so let me turn the camera off. And uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Give me a second.
Yeah, so this is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so they're gonna come from this way. Yeah, so that's not your dog. No, that's that, not our dog. Ah, it's not a Russian dog. Okay, that's just a random dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're gonna come from over this. What kind of dog is that? It is a red bone coon, I believe. Ah, red bone. I know it's part red bone, but I believe the other part's coon. Okay, so what are you? Are you like the person they're trying to find? Right now, yes, but on an actual search call, I would be out there with the dog or with another person helping work with them. Okay, so, so right now, this is just training exercise. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. cool. It's very interesting to see. Yeah, yeah. That's, like I said, my sunset's almost gone, so. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm still gonna hang out here a little while. That's okay. kinda. I got stuff over here. I was laying it out. I was going to make actually a cup of coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, on, uh, I mean, not a bad idea with this weather. <laughs> <laughs> right, because it's pretty cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So there's plenty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So, can I ask what's in the bag? Like, is it your camera equipment? Yeah, that's all just camera gear. And, um, yeah, like I said, that burner, I was going to make some coffee okay, and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just, just that. That's all I got there. <laughs> and some, some lights because it's gonna get dark, yeah. you know. And I gotta find my way out. I got a headlamp in there and stuff. And uh, and that's very good because especially like if you were to accidentally go missing. Yeah. Those are perfect things to help us find the lights. Oh and all. yeah. Oh cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I don't go missing, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. But if I do, at least I know I got a dog that's gonna look for me. <laughs> and it's pretty. <laughs> Okay, here comes the dog, here comes the dog. <laughs> so this is really cool. So this dog is tracking him right now. So this is really, really cool. I hear it crying, whining. It's looking around. Hey, there he goes. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. So awesome. You're cheating. <laughs> you're across the field. You're cheating. Charlotte. Oh, good girl. Good. <laughs> so that was close. So here I am getting things laid out. And then uh, this young man, Nathan, comes around, starts walking behind the dugout. So, so we checked that out. It was a uh, dog rescue training. So he was pretending like he was lost and this dog was tracking him. So I held off on setting anything up and told him we were filming the sunset and stuff. So uh, they just left. Man, I'm getting behind the eight ball here as far as getting things set up. But man, I'm glad we waited and didn't set up right away. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting things set up. I should be pretty quiet now. All right. Here we go. <laughs> guys, I only got the two straps up. That's all I've gotten up so far. It's a lot darker than it appears in this thing. I've got a little uh, light, like a parking lot light behind the dugout. It's kind of lighting this area up. Uh, but, uh, it's still darker than it looks on camera. But there's just been cars, the people walking dogs. So I got the two straps up. They're dark in color, so you really can't see them hanging there. Uh, but I don't know what to do. I, I think I'm going to have to wait. All right. Let's keep waiting. guys it's starting to quiet down here so I got the hammock set up and you just saw me I just laid down in it quick 
to check it out. And stuff. It's pretty good. So I'm not not thinking that's too bad of a hang there. So uh, we'll get that working. So right now I gotta get hot water on. I got I gotta eat, and I'm, I'll tell you what I've got for dinner. But I think with that uh, LED light right outside the dugout here. If I put a light right up near the top on that metal, with this O light O bulb, if I put it up there on that uh, thing, I think with all the light that's shining on the back of the dugout, you'll never see this light. Or me having this light on in the inside. All right. Yeah, I don't hear anybody. A lot of dogs, a lot of dogs. All right. So I think the biggest problem tonight is going to be lighting, but I think with these O light O bulbs, the way I got them set up right now, I think we're going to be okay. But I got to get this water boiled. Yes. It's cold, 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 cold. You can see my breath, but man. All right, so what are we having for dinner? Okay, so tomorrow's Thanksgiving, right? So I was thinking, do we have turkey? I don't have any turkey. Or uh, I didn't want to eat turkey lunch meat. So what I've got, we got our chicken and dumplings, all right? So chicken and dumplings, and then I brought cranberry sauce. Um, so we're gonna have chicken and dumplings and cranberry sauce. So we gotta get this uh, cooked off and um, hot water added to it. So let's get the uh, koozie out so we can stick this right in it when that water's heated up. All right, so we got our water boiling. So we got our uh, chicken and dumplings opened up. And I'm gonna take that, oh man, that's really boiling. All right, so our chicken and dumplings, we're gonna dump some of that hot water in there, but don't forget to remove the uh, oxygen absorber. Uh, don't eat that. <laughs> so it says don't eat on it uh, for a reason. And there you go. So let's pour this in there. I'll get my handles turned out. Man, that is hot. Give that a quick stir in there. So we want to pull everything from the sides. Give that a good stir. Right down on there. Seal this up, and we're gonna get that in the koozie. So I get that chicken dumplings down in this koozie. Now I couldn't seal up that bag, so I gotta be very careful. My hands were too cold that I couldn't. I couldn't do the little uh, pressing thing on there. All right, so we'll just set that back there and let that do its magic. So that's got to be about 10 minutes. I think we got to let that. So that water was boiling when we put that on there. I can't even tell if that's hot. Doesn't feel cold, but steaming. But my hands are so cold that uh, I can't even tell how cold that is. All right, so here's our... I got our cranberry sauce opened, all right? So we got our cranberry sauce. We got our chicken and dumplings. Hey, oh, guess what's for dessert? No, no, Louisiana crunch cake. We've got a pumpkin spice cake. You can hear the church bells going from the town. All right. Ugh, man, I can't wait to climb in that hammock. That's going to be warm. I've got the Amea uh, under quilt. Hey, I've got this new uh, headlamp on, so definitely working good. The the only thing with my hands so cold, I'm having trouble hitting the buttons. So I'm kind of wishing I had my Amea <laughs> Amea one uh, that you just flash your hand and it turns on and off. Uh, so that's in the storefront. Uh, both of these are. Yeah. All right, 
I got my spoon ready. All right. I think it's about time we can check that. Boy, I'm kind of lit up like a Christmas tree, but it doesn't matter because let me show you why. Let me grab this and let's walk it around the corner. All right. So, here's why. So, I'm going to put my back to the dugout and just slide you out around the corner. So, you can see all the houses right down. But see that LED light, which is right above us, right there. You see that? There's the light. So that's shining on the back of the dugout. So my little lights in here aren't strong enough to make it look like. See, you can see the light up here. So with my lights all down here in the corner, that light isn't strong enough to make make it obvious on the other side of the building. Uh, but yeah, right right up there is that LED light. And let me turn you around. All right. So you can see how bright the light is out there uh, on the other side. Yeah. And then right down over the hill, right there. So that's the dugout on the other side. The other dugout so that's the word at home team <laughs> that's the uh yeah that's the uh visitors are over there but that right down there is the pool and i i just step out here a little bit more and that's the town that's the lower end of town and you can see the lights up through the town there but yeah all right so let's get our meal stirred i think it's getting pretty close Oh, that is hot on my leg. Oh, but that smells delicious. All right. Yeah, that's looking really good. Let me show you. So that's our chicken and dumplings. It's got peas and carrots and all kinds of stuff in it. And then right there's our cranberry sauce. And then we got pumpkin pie for dessert. So I think our meal is ready. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Can't wait. So I got it wrapped up in this schmog because that was too hot to hold. It was burning my leg. Even though I'm freezing, that was a little too hot. <laughs> so I think this is ready. Oh, look at them peas. Ugh. I don't want to get it on my schmog, but look at that. That's looking really, really good. Oh, my gosh. All right, chicken and dumplings. If you haven't had this one, you got to try it. This is the best one I think I've had so far to date out of all the meals. <laughs> mm. Man, that is good, 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 good. So. Mm. Oh. That's hot. That's hot. So, I don't know, when I eat Thanksgiving dinner, I always, uh, I love cranberry sauce, but I got cranberry sauce and I like to use that and then I get a little bit of turkey and stuffing on my, so this isn't turkey and stuffing, but I'm kind of acting like it is. Tasting like it is with all the gravy and stuff, but I like to get a little bit on the spoon with with it and then eat it all at once. Mm. That cranberry sauce, the coolness of it with the, with that chicken and dumplings, that is really tasty. I'm going to get me a big spoonful of that this time. <laughs> mm. so that is very very good very good like i said i with my stroke in when it gets cold it really uh, doesn't work very good uh, i have a lot of struggles with it uh. mm. right out of the can <laughs> oh boy well i just want to say with it being Thanksgiving uh, tomorrow and, you know, the, 
and gathering together with all of our friends and family. Uh, there are some people that don't have anyone. Uh, so uh, make sure you reach out to somebody that um, and just tell them happy Thanksgiving or that you care about them. Uh, because there's a lot of people that are pretty lonely right now and don't have anybody. So uh, just be mindful of that and just be thankful that you have uh, friends and family if you do, right? Uh, so Miss 2.0 uh, was just texting me. I saw her pop up on the screen. Uh, she's probably wondering how I'm doing. But uh, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to talk to her and then, hey, I'll bring you back on in a bit. All right. We'll see ya. All right. Our little cake, all the icing stuck to the roof of it. <laughs> Took all the uh, all the icing off. So this is a pumpkin spice. Well, I took a little filming of it before. It looked a lot better than it does right now. <laughs> but I got like the icing on one side and the cake on the other side. So I have to spoon it back and forth. All right. So, I mean, with Thanksgiving... We always have pumpkin pie, so this was the closest thing I could find. It was this uh, pumpkin spice uh, cake. Mmm, mmm. Hey, that's good. Get me a little frosting on there. Mmm. <laughs> I'm having the whole. Oh, my spoon! <laughs> Oh, dang it. <laughs> hey, quick. <laughs> Five minute rule. <laughs> All right. So, anyhow, make sure there's nothing on that. I can't hold the. Look at me trying to hold this. A oh, spoon. Oh. All right. There is the uh, pumpkin spice cake. <laughs> so. Mm -mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Something different. It's not a Louisiana crunch cake. <laughs> um. And usually by the time I, November runs around, comes around, everybody's sick of pumpkin. But I do like pumpkin pie, right, for uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, pumpkin pie is good. And in fact, Miss 2.0, I just texted her and just talked to her. That's what she's doing right now. She's making pumpkin pie for tomorrow. <laughs> because we're going to go up to our daughters and our other daughter's going to come up. Not all of our kids are be, will be able to make it, but uh, a lot of them will. A lot of our, uh, I think all of, just about all of our grandkids will be there. Yep. All right. So we're going to have a fun time. So, after all that we went through to get set up here at this spot, with the dog rescue, wasn't that cool? <laughs> Who would have thought we'd have come out here to do a stealth camp and then end up <laughs> being in the middle of a, uh, a rescue training for uh, using a dog? And so the one dog was a bloodhound. I'm not sure what... The, Nathan said what that other one was, but it was so cool when they, the dog found them. It was really, really awesome. I'm glad I caught that on film. So they thought I was actually just here filming the sunset. And uh, so then I had another dog walker come by. I had uh, just just a lot, a lot of stuff. So I had to wait till it got pitch black to be able to set the hammock up and everything. So we're all set up. We just got done eating. I'm going to finish this dessert, and then I think I'm going to climb in a hammock. Because I know that under quilt and top quilt is going to be nice and warm. So I'll talk to you when I get back in there. All right. We'll see ya. All right, guys. So you can see me. I'm in that little corner. I'm in the, like, shadows of the dugout. But you can see the street down there. So there's still a lot of lights on. That one house has got a lot of Christmas tree lights. But we're looking up that one street that comes right down to right where we're at. But there's a big bank right on the other side of the uh, dugout here. So uh, 
that's the town down there. So we're going to climb into the hammock over here. And All right, it's time for bed. All right, we'll see ya. All right, that's a, I just wanted to give you one last shot of the hammock. I got a light on, on the, over there in the corner, lighting that corner up a little bit. So just so you could see the outline of the hammock and how I've got that strung up. Yep, so, all right. Good night. I'll talk to you when I get in the hammock. All righty, so I am in the hammock. Oh, man, this is a lot warmer in here. Hands are still cold, but uh, I'm in the hammock. I'm in for the night. Unless I got to get up and use the facilities in, <laughs> in the middle of the night, which usually happens. But um, So I've got the bug net on this one because uh, after being... I don't think there's going to be an insects here, but uh, uh, watch that last Sunday Night Live when I talk about the spiders, where I counted 28 spiders looking back at me uh, that was reflected from my headlamp. And that big one that kept crawling in and out of my backpack, and I swatted it, and it bounced across the leaves. Oh, my gosh. So uh, look at the November. Um, maybe I'll put a tag up here. I'm not sure if I can or not. But uh, anyhow, it was the last Sunday Night Live, and I zipped to the uh, spider section. All right. <laughs> so... Uh, you can see the blue light on the uh, jacket. That means it's 125 degrees. So I do have the debut jacket on. And uh, man, I'm cozy and comfortable. Alrighty, alrighty. So here we go. Lights out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, you can see uh, it's uh, almost midnight. And it's down to 27 degrees. I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel that cold in this hammock here. I got this under quilt and it's keeping me really warm. So it's going to warm up for over the next uh, couple hours to till 3 o'clock a.m. It's going to be 30 degrees. But then it drops again. And by, by the time we get up tomorrow morning and by the time sunrise is, it's going to be 26. So, oh boy. Yep, sunrise is at 7.01 a.m. All right. See you then. Well, you can see my breath still, so. Oh, good morning, good morning. So, not a bad night last night. I got frost all over the side of this hammock. Especially this end here. I don't know if it's because it's closer to the opening, but I would have thought I wouldn't have gotten any frost underneath here, but I don't know, there's a lot of frost all over the field. But uh, did I stay warm? I tell you what, I did, except for once. Uh, the the under quilt or the top quilt got off of my one side, my right side, and it got really cold, so cold that it woke me up. And when it woke me up, I realized that I had come out on the one side of the top quilt and uh, it was freezing. <laughs> so I got it back over my hip and my leg and then I was good for the rest of the night. So, uh, yeah, that, I tell you, I... I'm thinking I got to get broke down pretty quick this morning because as busy as this place was last night, there's going to be uh, definitely going to be dog walkers coming here this morning. Yeah. So let me get things tore down and make some coffee and then we're going to have to get out of here. We got to, we got to get out because we're going to uh, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> All right. So remember, I didn't bring any breakfast, but we are going to have, um, uh, Definitely going to have some coffee. Need it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So we got our burner going. We got, we're going to have these uh, Folgers singles. Thanks to Dennis who gives... Gave, sent me these 
These are like a tea bag. So we're gonna have that this morning. See, so see, I got the heated jacket on. It's gold. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's set at the highest setting right now. Uh, it just it is freezing, 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 freezing. So, so this is that um, Folgers single. So we're gonna have that this morning. And what else? So this, I brought, uh, you see that? It switched to uh, blue. After five minutes when it's on high, it go to automatically switches down one notch. So that's at the 125 now. So, uh, man, I gotta get my hands on my pocket. Um, so this is, uh, I got creamer in here. Uh, so that's where our coffee, thank you, Dennis, for this little thermos. That works out awesome. And then, just a little side note, <laughs> when you are, uh, you, when it gets below freezing, so it's like 26 degrees right now. So when it gets uh, down below freezing, uh, the reason this isn't frozen is because I tucked it in uh, my uh, hammock and I it kept it down along my side all night long. So just my body heat alone won't let it freeze. So. 2.0 tip. <laughs> all right, so all right, our water's boiling. I am gonna add some more cold water to that. Whew, boy, I always do that. I get it too hot. So I have my hot lips with me. Uh, so I'll get that out and put that on the uh, rim of that mug, our titanium mug, and then stick our coffee bag in there. right in there and steep that a little bit so i brought this along last night so i was gonna have this this is a columbia coffee it's a triple latte so i was gonna have that last night bold and creamy but we'll save that for another time or maybe i'll drink it later today but uh yeah i think i'll save it yeah i'll save it Alrighty, alrighty. So, hey, we're, we're all packed up. All we got is the backpack just laying there. There's no dog walkers yet, but hey, if there was a dog walker or somebody that sees us in the dugout, hey, we got a backpack, but we're just training, right? Uh, we're walking around with the backpack. Oh, I still got my headlamp on. <laughs> all right, I got to get that off. So, um, yeah, hey, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. I really appreciate you. And, uh, I, I really appreciate all of the comments and things like that. And so if you're watching this and it's not Thanksgiving today, you can still be thankful, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I got so much to be thankful for. And one of the things I'm really thankful for is, is just all of the support of uh, the community that uh, has has become part of the 2.0 family, all right? Hey, I appreciate you guys. And if you didn't hit uh, subscribe or like or anything like that, you can if you want. Go ahead and do that. Uh, but I want to say thanks for coming along. I got some editing to do because I want to get this video up tonight because it's a Thanksgiving video. All right. Uh, so I got to get uh, to the house, pick up Miss 2.0, and we got to head up to our daughters. All right. So you know what time it is. Score the music. <laughs> Try that again. I said, I said, score the music. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. So, hey, so Random Adventures, uh, Tony 2.0. I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. And, uh, hey, we'll catch you on the next Random Adventure. All righty, all righty. So, hey, Tony 2.0. Out. <laughs> all right. We'll see ya. Stop.